Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. I am here on the Hypermind Modded server playing some FTB Infinity Evolved. I'm over at my castle base, as usual, and let's see, what are we going to be doing today? Well, we are continuing our push for the farms. So last time we were together we did this melon, pumpkin, and sugarcane farm. And it's been doing pretty well, if I do say so myself. And still pumping the sludge out to the sludge boiler that we took care of a little while back as well. But what are we going to be doing today? Well, you see, with this design right here, we started bringing in a wood texture and we chose the spruce. Well, we, we didn't choose, I chose it. And yeah, so we're going with spruce, but that means we need a way of getting spruce automatically because we are going to be incorporating spruce all over our builds so that's kind of the design theme that we're going for still not sure on the color palette I might see well I'm still waiting on hearing from you guys to see what you might be doing but uh, yeah as to stuff that has happened around here not much we still got our emmy system right here just chugging along I did run the quarry again, so we've got a lot of resources. Well, I mean, we had a lot already, but just needed a little bit more. It wasn't a large quarry run. But what are we going to be doing? Well, we're working on that tree farm today so that we can get spruce trees, spruce logs, and spruce wood going for our overall castle design. And you can see not much in the way of the overall replacement of cobble we're still waiting that skystone b is producing but sometimes my reactor does not restart after the server restarts and so that means that the skystone b does not keep producing even when i am off of the server so we have to take a look into that maybe change out the reactor control because the computer's not starting back up but our tree farm is not going to go right there that's a future project in fact two episodes from now. Yep, I need something else in uh, before we get to this one. And you can hazard a guess as to what that's going to be if you want. Over here, uh, you can see we've got some really weird formations. Our our chests are up on the are up in the air and then our wheat farm over here has kind of been raised up a bit. And it's not that the wheat farm got raised up, it's that I've lowered the ground to make this whole area a lot flatter. And I carried that all the way around here, just flattened it out, flattened out this hill, and, and sculpted it a little bit more. So the wheat farm was originally level with this, and that level came all the way out to here. And I have just knocked that back, and we will be moving the wheat farm probably to over here uh, within fully within the chunk loaded range of this personal anchor so uh, that's another thing the personal anchor is going to be chunk loading our tree farm area which is going to go right here so let's get started on this and before we do uh, I am joined with Valentine, Tick, and Zade. so it's a regular party and We've got the mod in here that you have to have a simple majority of people to sleep, so I'm not going to bother. If the others want to sleep, I shall let them. For now, hopefully the darkness isn't too bad, but what we'll do, we'll just put some torches out, and that way we've got a little bit more light, and then if YouTube decides to really darken things, uh, we should still be fine. So... As with the little greenhouse that we did last time, this is the design we're going to go with. Now, I did say over here I wanted the wide open spaces so we don't have greenhouses over the main fields. But here in the tree farm, we're up against the, uh, the wall here, and we've got a more practical concern. So we're going to be using an automated tree farm. And automated tree farms lay out the saplings in rows like boom boom like this okay so then and that would be fine with something like oak or birch you know 
but what it's not going to be fine for is spruce because in this version of Minecraft there is a 2x2 two two variety of spruce and if I was to leave the ceiling uncovered we might could get the 2x2 two two spruce and I'm not sure how the harvester is going to do so that's right we are going to be doing harvesters and planters well one harvester one planter and we've got filter pipe to pull out the saplings item transfer and all of that fun stuff and we'll put some spruce saplings here in our inventory as well and what do we need we got everything I think we should have everything there's one more and I've got a little recipe here for you we're going to be going with the range 2 upgrade so it's not going to be the most efficient farm so we're not maximum or anything like that small a small radius we're going to go to a 7x7 seven seven. and uh, that's the recipe right there it's the 10 upgrade all of the upgrades have roughly the same same recipe it's just you change out which metal or item is up here so let's go grab those and we'll start the process now spruce trees need a 5x5 five five area unobstructed around them up to a height of nine I've just looked this up it's in the wiki for Minecraft I'm not sure if any of the mods change that behavior so around this sapling we need five it's a five by five square so one two three four five one two three four five okay so that means that our farm is going to be two offset from the wall so otherwise these outside ones wouldn't grow and we might as well just have the standard standard planter and harvester going okay now I'm gonna take these back up because I don't want them growing just yet so we're gonna come down here I've already marked out my boundaries we're gonna put the planter down and then we're gonna come back and come off two from the wall and put that right there see I got it this time all right and we'll put the upgrade in there oh did I leave an upgrade they don't stack yes it's there just blind for a moment and we'll put that in there as well so we'll knock that block out Ooh, it's rather dark down here let's take care of that and we'll take out that because we don't need it anymore and we also don't need the tree farm waypoint all right so without further ado let's get on with building this machine you've seen me do this plenty of times before what we're going to do is put the tesseract here we'll set that to soap and we will do item nothing fluid nothing energy receive so now we've got a harvester going and soon we shall have the uh, the planter going so we'll just bring leadstone flux duct back to the planter from the tesseract and this should now be trying to work but there's nothing in here and we'll turn off consume stack so now from this point on we have to do a little filtration system we need to pull the the uh, what's some the saplings out but let's just bring ooh this is gonna be a problem because I don't want these items going into the tesseract but it doesn't matter because I'm not sending items so that doesn't matter what we're gonna do is bring the filter pipe down and the regular pipe I could use some other conduit which could I could turn that that particular face off right there and there might be something um, I've noticed on the crescent hammer if we do that oh there we go that might work let's see if that works and we'll do the filter pipe uh, like so yeah yeah we'll do that um, yeah sorry I'm I have not um, fully fully worked this out in creative I'm just kind of winging it based on what I know of of this whole process all right so we want saplings to go in the red side so we'll do that and let's just make sure that 
That is indeed what happens. And it might have planted them. Let's go check. Yep, it planted them. But that's a good thing. All right, so we've got that the basic setup going. And now what we need to do is put our ultimate output right there. And that's going to be spruce logs. So that should be working. There's one more piece that we have to do. And that is the sludge bucket. See, notice we're on the brown network. Okay, that's just a server message. So brown personal network. And that's going to go over to our sludge boiler over here. All right. So let's take a look at this whole setup. We'll put some dirt back in here, and then we will fill up the planter with the saplings that we've got. And that should be planting. All right, so success thus far. What we need to try now is maybe a little bit of bone meal, and I think I have some in my project bag, sure enough. Um, This is going to be problematic. There we go. The reason I knocked all of those out is so that I didn't get a 2x2. Two two. Okay. Okay, so it harvested the whole thing. And decent amount of sludge usually from, from that. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So I'm pleased thus far. It does leave a little bit of the leaves up here. Leave. Let's put these in like so. All right. And we should have seen spruce wood going into there, but that concerns me slightly. Hmm. We'll have to figure that out. Well, next. Okay. We've got the farm in. This thing should be going. We'll just let this run for a bit, and what I'm going to do, you've already seen me put together the overall design, and we're going to copy, I, you can't see it from here, we're going to copy that same design, oh, I'm not sure what he's working on, but we're going to copy that same greenhouse design as over there, and uh, and then we'll, let's put a roof on it after we get back, all right? See you in just a moment. And i got to say, I like that we have a little bit of a unifying design coming together so our melon pumpkin and sugarcane farm over that way is kind of informing what we're doing over here I did kind kind of want to do a glass roof up on the top but it just didn't didn't come together for this but I have to say I don't like the fact that this building shows over the top of the wall so let's go take a look over here and uh, also when I was setting this up I found that the harvester did just fine with those two by two spruce trees so I don't know uh, you tell me what do you think we've got we got this building here uh, I've had to drastically reduce the efficiency because of um, of, of the various environmental factors getting in the way so namely the harvester was in the way of those spruce trees they're much more finicky than oak or birch um, so if you look up front here you see that I don't have spruce trees in front of the harvester or around it so that we could have that five by five square going all the way up to the roof and uh, I gotta say I'm I'm not I'm not keen on this so far had uh, some initial issues as well. See right here, this is a carpenter's block instead of a regular spruce log. Because when I put the spruce log in there and this farm was going, the harvester ate most of the building. Yep, just ate all of those, those timbers right away, sucked them back into the ME system because the spruce leaves on the inside had touched the outer columns here. Oh, so I don't know. I'm not. I'm not keen on it. And uh, what I'm thinking is, I will probably, I will probably tear this down, tear the whole building down, and then go with a large radius on the harvester and a small, yeah, small radius on the planter. So 
maybe three by three in the middle for the planter or or five by five and then bring the harvester out to this level and set it to something like 11 by 11. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I, I might play around with this some in my creative testing world, who knows? But I did want to show you something that I just found out and that is a way to conserve blocks a little bit. And right here, you can see we got a glass slab. It would normally be showing carpenter's block with the way that I was doing it over on that other farm, but I just watched a video by Zaid, who is also playing modded here on this server, and he was showcasing this diamond saw. And uh, so that, yeah, I keep forgetting that. Um, the crafting window here does not keep what it is you had in the crafting area, unlike this. So you can put that in and take your take your material and the saw stays in there. So I've gotten kind of spoiled. But anyway, this is a way to get vertical slabs and conserve material. So there we go. And that's that's complete. So we've got the same kind of design with this chiseled glass right here. Uh, what is the it's a modern iron fence? And then up top we've got Carpenter's blocks with the stone, no, sky stone brick, the large brick variety, and a chiseled iron fence or iron bars right there on the top. And then I've got some carpenter's blocks dotted about the whole thing that have glowstone in them. So similar to what we've seen elsewhere, I do need to get a door into that, but for the time being, I think I'm pretty much done for this project for the time being. I'm going to, again, probably tear this thing down and go with a slightly more efficient farm. It is rather slow, but I don't know if that, maybe that's not an issue. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna leave this, this building here long enough to get some feedback from you guys. I would love to hear your suggestions on it. Do we keep it? Is it? Do you think it's a problem being right there and showing over the top of the castle wall? I don't want to go too much higher on the castle wall, by the way. So that uh, that that's probably not going to be an option that I consider. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we could we could increase the wall height, but then that really makes this much more imposing. So maybe that's not a bad thing. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? Oh, there we go. We got a, another spruce going. And we should be seeing more of these going into the planter down below. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this installment of Family Friendly Gaming. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And again, remember, if I'm not comfortable sharing it with my kids, I'm not going to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I almost forgot something. Yeah, we've got to check this off. All right. Trees, done. Bye-bye.